they will do the presentation of military honors and then you guys can reflect. Those that have served, please render a hand salute. Those that have not, place your hand over your heart. Thank you. of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of appreciation. For a long and honorable service. I've got that moment happening. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
happy that we're able to gather for our friend Jim. It's a sad day that we have to gather here for our friend Jim. You all knew him. Everybody here knows Jim. Knew what he was like. And there's not really much to say. He served his country honorably. He was a friend to everybody. Always had a kind word to say. Very seldom did you ever hear Jim get angry or get upset with anybody. And if he did, he usually held it in. If he had problems, you could come talk to him. Now, Jim didn't have any answers, but he had his shoulders. And whenever I came over and talked to him about things that were going on in my life, he may not give me any answers or solve the problems, but I left feeling better. And thankfully, I believe I, I left him feeling better also, because I always left him with a smile on his face or cracking him. There's really not much else to say except that he's going to be with his fellow warriors now. And there's no more pain. So if somebody else would like to speak, please come up. I'll just speak from here. I'm glad that he had you there at the end. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't there, and uh, and I know that the rest of us are, but he was a decent person and, uh, and a generous person. Too generous, and, uh, to a fault. Yeah, and uh, so I'm glad I got to know him. He, uh, you know, no matter what it was, no matter who it was, when they came up, they usually left what they came for. It's a shame that they're not here to represent what they thought about him and how they cared about him. But that just shows you that, at least in his final moments, his true friends are here. And uh, that's all we can ask for. And now they told me inside that at 12 o'clock noon, you'll be able to visit the gravesite. Uh, if you need a copy, you can go inside and they'll give you a copy of what section he's in and what his grave would be like for If you have any area, you can stop here. Fortunately or unfortunately, those people that I had bad things to say about are not here, so I don't have to use the button. So I appreciate all of you coming. I know Jim, wherever he's at, appreciates you. And you showed true friendship and love. I right, thank you. It's over now. Putting him in a mausoleum or? No, he's going into the ground. He is? He'll have a, we talked about it on the porch. We wanted to make the BA pay as much as possible. So we were going to make him dig the six by six by six. <laughs> and that's going to be me too. I want, you know, and we've been walked on all our life. We may as well be walked on in death too. So. Those are the kind of conversations we had uh, about the hereafter or the not after or whatever. But he's with his fellow brothers now, and that's all we can ask for. Brothers and sisters. Yep. A lot of them. Now, he would have laughed at the taps. She's like, I'm oh, checking this morning. I'm surprised he didn't jump out of the box. <laughs> and then the FedEx truck, the road was blocked off. I'm like, FedEx truck. This is the, fun, this is the right end for Jim. This is, he would appreciate this. Uh, okay. Everything that go wrong went wrong. Okay. But that was life. That's well, what, just that's, know we're going to put him in the right place. Yeah, so that won't go yeah wrong. make sure we're not talking to a stranger. Yes. So, well, my condolences to all of you. Thank you so much. And um, so this does conclude the service. We will um, have him interred right away. Okay. Um, section T, site number 225. It'll be down to the end of the road and to the right. Do, um, any right of you, the pond. do any of you have a pencil you can write that down? Or do you need to go inside and get a, a copy of the where he's going to be at in case you want to visit? Well, um, after we order the headstone, if you come up to the gravesite locator on the outside of the building and just put in the first four letters of his last name and do a search, okay. you'll be able to print them out. Okay. Okay. My kids have prohibited me from having uh, uh, pencils. Okay, so I have to write everything down. They get you that upset, huh? <laughs> where pencils are dangerous <laughs> weapon? It's old fashioned. You, uh, what was it, Graveside 225? Yes, sir. Section T as in Tango. Ooh. 
And if you go to, uh, if you look at the bottom of the Tribune, at the Tampa Tribune, there's a website you can go to that has a guest book. If you haven't been there yet, that's the Tampa Tribune, uh, and, and you can leave a comment there. Uh, or I can, if you have an email address, I can, I can send you the URL where you can just click on it. And it's, it's good until next month where you can leave a post. And uh, if you have any pictures of you and Jim working, I would love to see some. I, I Actually, there's a picture with all the guys. Uh, uh, what's his name has got it. I gave it back to him. That's, uh, the guy you were just talking about, that, uh, the liberal guy that you were talking about. Coward? Bill Hatton. Bill Hatton, his I, brother. I, I have one I gave him picture, but I don't know if Bruce has sent it. Is he in the one? I got the one with mm -hmm. all the supervisors. Uh, his brother's got it, the young one. Hatton? You know, the young Paul, one? Paul Hatton? Paul. Yeah, if you can fax that or email it to me. Uh, uh, just if I get my hands on it, I can I do it. I don't have a pencil either. I, that's what I feel in my pocket. I usually carry a little ball pen in there. But well, you, I have your phone number. I'll call you and yeah, I'll give you my me. email address, and then you can send that via email. Text it to me. Uh, you want me to use a little keypad yeah, on the phone? You are so sad you texted to me. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Remember the pencil? Yes. He go, he go. My, my oh, okay. Say, um, the shortest pencil is better than the longest memory. Now, look. This good? No, he can't touch the screen with that. He's talking about a screen yeah. pencil. For, no, for no, no, what I was going to show you is all the photos that I take, see, about stuff, because yeah. I don't write anymore. Okay. Is there nowhere? Okay. Well, you want to write it on here for a minute? My email address? And yeah. I will, yeah, I will send it to you. Yeah. Anything that you have with Jim, I found a picture of him when he just joined the Army as a PFC. It must have been 1963. Really? As a young man, he was kneeling. Daniel brought it over to me. And then uh, he brought the pictures over when Gene, I uh, Jim went on vacation like five years ago across country, and I, I kind of clipped him out, and those are the ones that I posted on the site. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll send you the one from where, where we might have to tell you who he is. Because, uh, now, I, I, I haven't changed a bit. Everybody else has. <laughs> Jim hasn't either when I saw that younger picture. Yeah, well, actually, you look younger now, Mike, than you did 25 years ago. <laughs> And prettier. You forgot prettier. You know, you know, right back when you had Lord Black here. I got the door Mr. open Queen. and this guy did not jump Is it okay in. if I remove the yes, remains? Yes, ma'am. Okay, my condolences to all of you guys, and um, I will be turning him over to our caretaker who will be doing the interment right away. Okay, thank you. Um, again, my condolences to all of you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You're very welcome. Can you read? That's an app. So you want to look that's an app after the 2044. It's my first name, my first four, my service number, and then at Tampa Bay .rr .com. Do you remember your, your, your 244597. We didn't use Social Security numbers back right. then. You had a service. Right. And from the time I hit the plane in San Diego, Seattle, until I hit San Diego, I had to memorize that because when we got off the plane, you had to know your service number. And in the Marine Corps, your service number tells what year you joined. You can guess when somebody joined, but my service number, 2-0, is a 1964. And then your two ones are your 1965, 66s. The Army's completely different. you got RA and U.S., and, and you can't tell anything. Navy would different. Yeah. I have 44, 58, 38 in the Navy, and 33-07-11 in the Coast Guard. I was in the Army and the Navy also. I did six years in the Marine Corps, then I did two years in the Army and Reserve. the Navy is years. UN, underwater. <laughs> I thought it was SQ. Yeah. RA is regular Army. I'm going to give you a high test while you're here. This is my daughter's business card. You see, if you line them up on the bottom there, one of them actually is longer than the other one. But take this one and hold it. Just a second. I'm going to take this one and stretch it just a little bit and put it right back up here where we're at. Stand it up. Now this one's longer than that one, see? Yeah. But, but if you do it this way and say, Alec is you just turn it around, it goes that way. It kind of wrecks your head, don't you? <laughs> Almost but everything actually, messes with my head. Actually, they're the same size. So if you, if you ever want to get a hold of me, just call that, call that number on there and, and ask for 
Like I said, Floyd, Floyd I, McKenzie and I will send him the URL that you can link on. Uh, it will be a, 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 a PDF yeah. format. You can just click right on it and pick it right to the guest book. You said you live right there in the same uh, park that he was One in? One trailer over. Is that right? There's a trailer between him and me. I'm the uh, double wide. If you ever want to ask coffee, uh, call us and that old, that old buzzer call go coffee in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> it's from William Green, right? Is it? No, he, uh, it's, off, uh, it's on. Uh, it's between Interstate 4 and MLK. It's called 579. Okay. Grandview Mobile Home Park. That's right there. Right there, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 579. So when you pull in, I remember when you moved there, me and this other guy helped him move in there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said he's lived there for over, yeah. over 20 something yeah. years now, maybe 30 years. He said yeah. Yeah. he said moved in there when it was all dirt roads and stuff. Yeah. I've only been in this area for like eight years. For me, it's all been. City. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to have coffee, please call us and we'll go out and have coffee. Well, it'll be a while until after I get over this treatment. Yeah. The reason I wore my cover instead of not wearing is I'm losing my hair and I want to look as handsome as I could. Thank you, much. Well, I wish I had an excuse. Uh, I, okay. I, I, I hope I succeeded. Yeah, I'm losing. I lost touch with Jim when I left the phone company and uh, he retired. I, 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 they didn't even let me know when he retired, you know, because I, 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 I well, ran he, into him a couple of times after that. So that he was, was good up to about six months ago. When he was, uh, he's been in That's out my of medicine. For the last Until I take years. it, he won't go home. He had a kidney gone, uh, a lung was gone. He was on oxygen that he didn't use. He didn't do anything the doctor told him, so yeah. low blood sugar and everything else. He was, Different, like all the rest of us the time. Oh yeah, Jim, it's his way or the highway. Yeah. Yep. And if you don't like it, that was your problem. Yep. You deal with it. But <laughs> he wouldn't be, I mean, I had arguments where I said, Jim, you're wrong. And he said, you know, we both fought for the right to have your opinion. That's right. And you got it. <laughs> that's my opinion, yours. And that's where we leave it. I really appreciate you guys showing up. I, I was afraid maybe nobody well, would. Thank you guys so much. I think with more time, we would have had more people. And a lot of people shy away from this distance for whatever. Let me tell well, see, you something. Jim was stubborn by not, we were talking two years ago to get all this ready. Right. And he just yes. kept putting it off and putting it off. Yeah. Uh, it's actually, I think it's faster to 